Hello, it's Tony from Kate's Crafty Closet, and today I'm going to show you how I made this fun, colorful watercolor rainbow background card. So, uh, I have a separate video on showing you how I actually did the background part, and I'll link this at the end of this video so you can see how that was done. So, let's go ahead and get started with making the card. So, the first thing I went ahead and did is I die cut the um, rainbow cut pattern out of this MFT A2 size stitch frame. So I went ahead and did that with my bag of bond. So the next thing that we're gonna do is I like grab a stamp platform, whichever stamp platform you have and you want to use, that's perfect. So we're just gonna put this into our stamp platform. And I have a, a cool, sentiment from my favorite things i will link that stamp set in the bottom of the video as well as any other supplies that i use today as well as over on my blog as well so we're going to go ahead and i put it in here I already lined it up from earlier so we're going to grab some versafine black onyx ink and because this is watercolor paper that's why the main reason why i'm using a stamping platform because i know i'm going to have to stamp it multiple times because there's a little bit of texture and tooth to the watercolor paper so i don't want to mess up my sentiments so i'm just going to go ahead and apply pressure as much as i can it's a big stamp so it won't really smush so that is actually not bad for the first time so i'm going to go ahead and go with that because this is the smooth side of the um watercolor paper as opposed as the other one was the uh textured side of it and but it works out right so here we go we have this and then i'm going to go ahead and put on some of these stone stickers that i recently picked up at the stamp and scrapbook expo at one of the booths and if you have a stamp and expo close by these were inexpensive they were like a dollar fifty a pack and you get so many of them so i have some already here opened up and i'm just going to go ahead and grab some scissors here and i'm going to they're connected with adhesive so i'm going to cut five and then i'm just going to randomly uh, place them on a card like everybody says use odd numbers because it's better looking to the eye so tony is going to use five of and i'm just going to randomly put them on here surrounding the uh the sentiment here because it's such a beautiful i um, gorgeous sentiment i love that um i love the brush lettering on it so i use this i've used this more than once so i like it when i can get a stamp set that i know i'm going to use multiple times so i can get a lot of use out of it so now we go ahead we have that done let's go ahead and put some foam squares in there don't mind the back of it because that's the back so we have some foam squares here these are the ones that i just pick up at my local dollar tree when i see them um on sale well not on sale but you know when i see them available so literally i'm going to put 12 of them on here they're really big foam squares i like these and you a lot because i usually am pretty generous with my foam squares on my cards just because i like for them not to buckle you know or when they go in the mail they just become a little bit uneven so i'm boy that i just throw them on there because you know they're very these are very inexpensive and yet they work perfectly so this all depends on your taste when it comes down to that so we're going to go ahead and peel off the backing these since they're so big they're easier for me to uh grab with my fingers as opposed to using a pokey tool which is you know you can use a pokey tool if you want but like i said because these are so big it's just easier for me to go ahead and grab them and then i'm also going to put some art glitter glue on there so i can give myself a little bit of wiggle room because i have a tendency to never line my cards up straight on there so i will link that tip also at the end of this video so you can see uh, basically how that is done which basically you know so cool it's like basically what i'm doing right now but there is another tips tricks and techniques video with t out there whole series so there we go we have our glitter glue on there then i have a top folding 
uh, note card that I cut out um, using some 110 pound Nina Solar White, not Nina Solar White, this is 110 pound Recollections black card stock, so I apologize for that. And now because I have the uh, the art glitter glue on it, I have a little bit of wiggle room, so if I don't like my placement, like I don't like that one, I can lift it up and it's okay. So let's just go ahead and um, do our best, I'm going to do my best, not our best, to put this on here to the, to my liking and as you can tell I'm not very good at it but that's okay there's a little bit more on that side if I really want to I can trim that down with my trimmer totally okay so that is our car for day like how simple and quick and easy is that like the most difficult part and I don't really think it's difficult is just making the background basically letting it dry or drying it with your heat tool so I thank you for joining me today and if you like this video please hit the thumbs up also hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and make sure you hit that notification bell to get notified anytime I uh, upload videos to YouTube and I want to thank you all again for joining me today and y'all have a crafty day y'all